Good afternoon. We are going to be featuring today a very, very important herb. It is called Croton pendoliferous, the seeds. Croton pendoliferous is used um, traditionally mostly for severe constipation. Okay, it is used traditionally for severe constipation. It is used for uh, inflammation sometimes. Okay, and some other thing, um, uses that it has. Um, the thing about this herb is it is actually toxic. Okay, but usually when you want to use herbs, you weigh the benefits versus. Um, it's um, bad effects and you decide whether you want to use it or not now I don't use this by the way the name is Nigerian seed I do not use Nigerian seed at all I have never prescribed Nigerian seed to anybody not once even though it is so useful I always try to look for alternatives okay now if you follow my posts a lot, you would have seen where I talked about mechanisms of um, weight loss products, how people design their weight loss products according to how um, it works. Now, because this is a very strong purgative, there are a lot of people that misuse this and they use it to make weight loss products. Now, if you have a weight loss product and they tell you, oh, when you take it, you're going to go to the toilet, you'll be pooping non-stop. So what that does basically is you eat food, you poop it out, you eat food, you poop it out. So at the end of the day, food does not stay in your system, thereby leading to starvation and weight loss. This is what is responsible. Especially when you are taking tiny amounts and it is having such a profound effect. Now, Proton pendoflorus hmm? damages the kidneys, it damages the liver, a lot of things in your organs can get damaged if you use it. Worse, if you extract the oil hmm, and you give a few drops of the oil to somebody, first of all the person is going to start vomiting, stooling and eventually the person can die yes so that is why in a lot of countries it is a controlled substance you cannot you, you before you can practice with it ah you have to get um certificates and all that and all that in a lot of countries it is even banned but why am i calling it a useful plant well that's because it can help to unblock fallopian tubes that's why ordinarily i would never look at this herb twice except for that now when you have situations where um, fallopian tubes are blocked severely blocked and are not responding to any form of treatment this can help now it's not you have to use if you want to use it it has to be used by somebody who is well trained even for treating fallopian um, tube blockage it is used once every week just once a week so you use it once every week for some weeks and then you go and check and see if your tubes have been unblocked so it must be used under strict supervision and it has helped a lot of women to unblock their tubes and therefore conceive naturally. So you can see why I call it a useful herb, even though I also refer to it as a poison. It is a poison. This is why you always have to be very careful about herbs, because some herbs are not innocent. They look small, they look very harmless, but they can do a lot of damage. That's why if you want to dabble into herbs, ask somebody who is well versed in what they do to help you so i hope you um i i, I hope you enjoyed this episode of featured herbs and um, croton pendoliferous and thank you for tuning in to this uh, tutorial have a blessed day